It's your career is your career. Your career is not your employer's career. You give an interview when you're laid off without emergency fund and give an interview with emergency funds. I'll tell you the difference. You will feel it yourself. What is your portfolio size today? Will be something tuned to two CR. So what was your salary in 2006? Was eight thousand or nine thousand that I started with monthly? How much did your salary increase in terms of percentages? How much do you earn today? ये तो जिद्दी लड़का है. Yeah, I might be earning now maybe thirty, forty times. I delete कर देना. So my name is Kapil Anand. I am born and brought up in Delhi. Thirty-six years old. I carry around seventeen years of professional experience with me. I also carry around hundred case studies uh, with me for salad professional where I've helped people. So if I look, what is your portfolio size today? If you can share. So my portfolio, uh, maybe it will be somewhere in range of one point five to one point six CR. If I include my emergency funds, PF, NPS, and all, it will be something tuned to two CR. and you mentioned 17 year experience and you are 36 so you started working at 19 in my personal background my mother and my father got separated when i was 13 so i in fact started working when i was maybe 15 or 16 but that was not organized job because you can't take and up a job that was out of necessity because yeah, yeah, money absolutely. was short my mother was taking home tuitions at that time my elder sister was also working i also started working pretty soon to support education and all so what were you doing at that time i am not sure if that job today exists or not but you will see people standing outside atms or maybe corporate offices and they will offer you credit card so we were not paid any salary so how many applications you got approved you will be uh, you will be paid based on that only i actually started working 19 or 18 in a formal sector i started it was called hutch now it's vodafone so i started as a customer service representative there and when you joined this uh, hutch or vodafone then you must have started getting a fixed salary right yeah yeah what i was think it was 8000 or 9000 that i started with monthly got it and what was this year maybe 6 to 6 2006 and how much do you earn today if Yeah so my income is not particularly only from salary I also do some sort of freelancing work my initial income was maybe 1 lakh a year I might be earning now maybe 30 40 times did this growth happen very gradually like or there were some inflection points ki ek jump mein double ho gaya salary yeah. so my portfolio grew uh, by like i think 17 18% and my salary was growing by 22% uh, annual cagr and the major change happened when i joined the consulting industry earlier i was in operations i changed the industry completely and that happened around i think 2017 so what was your salary in 2006 when you joined 2006 7 6 i can tell you i was earning around maybe 1.8 lakh when i was working with hcl it was an international setup uh, yearly 2009 i joined uh, a multinational company which was primarily into debt collection the salary was almost similar line 16 17000 but they were offering a lot of incentives variable pay if you are able to perform better 2009 till 2014 i did not take any promotion money at an associate level because of those incentives were really really good more than your manager yeah yeah at times more than your manager because in sales company and uh, companies which are paying only for performance it happens a lot then i got promoted there as a team leader where my basic grew but incentive reduced how much did basic grew in terms of percentages from 2.5 it was 5.6 apart from the normal hikes that i got in 5 years i was at 6 to 7 lakhs then senior team leader came around 9 lakhs type then i went into the consulting zone where i started earning 10 plus and then salary took uh, exponential growth and maybe it was 2x 3x in no moment time the way you increase your salary matters a lot in your corpus like how can somebody grow salary aggressively see you will never be able to create a good corpus or wealth if your active income is not increasing i see a lot of salaried people with a philosophy of penny wise and pound foolish let's say their job is in gurgaon they will see that rent is here is 35000 rupees let me take a home in delhi far away there i am paying rent only maybe 20000 rupees 15000 ka saving but we traveling every day 2 hours and then you going back one and a half hour i used to spend the same 2 3 hours in office extra every day from which i was able to earn more incentives our working hours were same but my working my working hours were giving me more money which i could invest or maybe spend second i see as soon as their salary increases what is the first thing they do they will buy a home that's the first goal ke apna ghar to hona hi chahiye what that comes with that comes with heavy emi 2017 or 18 i wrote a very interesting facebook post that home loans make you a humble employee imagine myself in a scenario where i was making that risky career switch of moving from operation imagine i was paying 90% of my salary as emi or 80% of my salary in expenses and emi 
थर्ड इज वॉर बफे से दे नेवर इन्वेस्ट इन दम सेल्स अ लॉट ऑफ सैलेड पीपल विल डिपेंड ऑन दर एम्प्लॉयर यू काइंड ऑफ हायर्ड मी आई एम नॉ यूर अडॉप्टेड चाइल्ड यू ट्रेन मी यू एंटरटेन मी दैट्स नॉट द केस यू करियर इज योर करियर यू करियर इज नॉट योर एम्प्लॉयर्स करियर so if you see my career trajectory i was learning something new every 2 years i did a data analysis course i did six sigma lean green belt then black belt then i am course i got certified from sebi these are all active choices for me apart from skill you should work for the industry who can pay you more same kaam karoge कहीं पे आपको अच्छा पैसा मिलेगा कहीं पे नहीं सो एट दैट टाइम आई आइडेंटिफाइड मे बी नॉट इन साइंटिफिक वे बट आइडेंटिफाइड दैट इंटरनेशनल सेटअप्स कैन गिव यू बेटर मनी आई स्टार्टेड वर्किंग फॉर एच इट वाज अ यूएस सेटअप माय कम्युनिकेशन स्किल्स वर नॉट गुड सो आई वेंट टू इंटरव्यूअर जो कि इंटरव्यू लेते थे उनका and every time i'll fail i gave interview almost 11 times so, mujhe bola ek bar bithaya sab kuch sab chale gaye bola ke bhai tu kya chahta hai bar bar kyu aa raha interview dekh le reject ho jata hai because i want to join Uh, this organization kabhi na kabhi to clear hoga fir when i went 12th time i think out of uh, compassion <laughs> or probably you must have improved right? no no i am damn sure it was out of compassion only ke ye to jiddi ladka hai when did you start investing so maybe i started uh, i should say gambling in 2007 but truly started investing in around 2020 12 uh, a very interesting incident happened uh, one fine day india bulls rm called me and uh, said that you have been shortlisted as a very good investor because your stock portfolio returns are amazing why portfolio was not even 10000 rupees at that time and i got into yaar a very big investor do you believe gaya. you believe yeah, yeah i believed I completely believed and they are saying that we are your returns are good but you are not able to scale up so we are conducting a free training on future and options uh, you come to our uh, office and we will do a training and i went there and actually there was 15 16 people who were angel investor like me <laughs> with maybe 8 or 10000 rupees of portfolio and they trained us on future and options i was unlucky enough that it was working for me initially but uh, why do you call it unlucky yeah warren buffet says that if you lose money in derivatives very early then you are very lucky you will learn the lesson very soon i wasted my 4 years uh, so i was on a nanital trip so my phone got switched off and somebody downgraded us rating from aaa to aa plus. I lost almost all of the money that I gained in last three four years, which was one point five lakh in one single day. The RM kept calling me and started motivating me. Okay, hota hai, hota hai, karo karo. Okay, ठीक है. अब नहीं करना. क्योंकि आपने अगर चार साल में, if you have only earned ten thousand rupees, it's I won't say it's a profit or it's not even break even. It's a complete loss. Then I got. introduced to uh, investing principles how should f- uh, start saving for the future this was late 2011 that was the first time i actually invested uh, money goal planning and all that and i got so serious about it i started reading about warren buffet his letters to shareholders i started reading in, and after that i never looked back into investing so maybe i sorry to give that long answer but that's how i started my investment you quote warren buffet a lot uh, i think in the entire interview i'll only quote warren buffet a Uh, I don't know anything else apart from that. How do you look at money in general going forward? Like, do you have goals to retire at particular age? The first goal that I set up was my retirement. It is sixty. Retirement at sixty. Sixty. Generally, whenever we we talk Dormant about fire age. number, people want to be retiring at forty at max fifty. The basic assumption when they say that they want to retire early is because they are not doing the work of their choice. Warren Buffet says that I have never worked a single day in my life. So the thing which is of your passion. they will not tire you so i don't want to retire at 35 40 there's no goal like that in my life and do you have any corpus in mind saying the corpus should be that much by 60 yeah yeah so i planned uh, around 4 to 5 cr of that amount and i have skid i have set up sip for the same so retirement at 60 with a unencumbered corpus of 5 cr then what are other goals so when i started in 20, uh, 2012 i was not married right no idea when i would get married but i started planning for my child education then yeah, when yeah, you were then. when the marriage wasn't in yeah yeah you should plan like a fool if you don't know how to plan just google an average indian man or indian woman that's what you are that's the benefit i got because i started planning so early my sip amount was very low 2012 my first goal was retirement second goal was my child graduation post graduation recently when my uh, we were planning for child i set up an sip that when my child will turn 5 years of age i don't have to make any expense out of my pocket for everything his... will come out of uh, sips only okay, for his school expense it is everything even his pocket money play school everything i saw pain with a lot of parents that when they are deciding the school the prime factor is how much money you can pay today schools uh, fees is very very expensive right at least i don't want that debate in my house discussion in my house so i have planned everything that is the last sip that i started 
so i hope that answers your question got it like do you enjoy the process so therefore you are thorough yeah, planner yeah, because otherwise it is very very tiring no to no, plan no, no, so no, no, much no. I don't get tired. I really enjoy this process. My wife sometimes get very irritated. I can imagine. <laughs> Did you plan expenses for your marriage also? See, I belong from a Punjabi family and marriages in my family happens like a very big Grand festival. Wedding. But I did a court marriage. Oh. Uh, my marriage expense was 10,000 rupees only. Court Wouldn't marriage. your family mother's uh, family didn't they oppose you saying what are you no, doing? No, there was a lot of dispute on that. We will give you the money because they think I am very conjuice type of person they say i will give you money i said money is not an issue you see what i am going to do after the marriage so we actually went on a road trip 5th of july we were in goa we spent i guess 3 days in goa and then we came to bangalore uh, there was a new company called zoom car in bangalore at that time 2015 we booked a car for 21 days and we went on a road trip of south india so we created a o on the map of south india started from bangalore mysore uh, kurg vainad not even a single destination was planned So I spent almost seven to eight lakhs rupees on that trip. We stayed in very good hotels. We did everything we wanted at that particular time. Can you again summarize? You mentioned your corpus is two crore. Like, what is percentage allocation? Sixty percent of around it will be directed to index funds, which are linked to my uh, important goals and my SIPs. Five percent where I'm trying to well learn. how to invest in stock i have around maybe 6 to 7% in emergency funds then other debt instruments like nps and then eps is completely debt so that includes the entire corpus mistakes that you have seen people doing it they don't plan their financial life at all they don't have any visibility to goals they are earning 100 spending 90 they are so glued with their expenses people today have a lot of iphones but people don't have term insurance people will very well agree that health insurance cost is going up they don't have any health insurance you talk to a lot of corporate people they will only rely on health insurance from their organization that's not enough i feel government should make mandatory if you're buying an iphone first you show me that you have a personal health insurance you have to buy a lock to protect your investments term insurance health insurance and good emergency fund you give an interview when you're laid off without emergency fund and give an interview with emergency funds this cannot be explained mathematically then think about creating a budget for yourself track how much you are spending if i have 100 rupees sit down with the family how much you are going to spend how much i can reduce if i am not able to cover my expenses i know a lot of people who are at 90% i said that these are your goals you are not able to cover your sip can you reduce some of your expenses they said no we are very glued to our lifestyle okay that's fine but now don't take it up increase your salary and from the salary you are increasing don't take your lifestyle up since 2012 i have made a principle to myself that i will never spend more than 50% of my salary there is an artificial barrier in my mind for my salary that if i am earning 100 my salary is only 50 rupees then go to goal planning then go to wealth maximization people want to become rich tomorrow and that's not happening even if government imposes some tax on sip that if you do sip we will tax you differently i will still go for sip because that allow me not to time the market i delete kar dena nirmala se tarah mujhe idea chala gaya to actually mai tax laga dengi thank you for watching and supporting our channel if you like the stories we tell here's your chance to be a part of it if you or anybody you know has an interesting financial journey to share then please fill the form in the pin comment below and we'll get in touch with you